Hello everyone. This is uh, Tina. Uh, uh, in this video, we just we just uh, briefly like uh, summarize the advantages of the Node JS web application uh, processing model or architecture we talk about uh, in last video. Okay. So this is the diagram we finally uh, come up. Okay, after the video. So what's the advantages, as you can see here? <clears throat> uh, first, see here, we have an event loop, which is uh, event loop, which is always listening for taking the client request, right? So compared with the traditional model, actually it can take care more and the more concurrent user compared with the traditional way. Okay, it's not blocking. It's always, if it has a blocking, it will take care of other internal threats. And uh, another thing is because of this, because uh, another way, if it's uh, for uh, the database or file systems, it uh, has uh, asynchronous non-blocking operations, it will utilize the, that. It will also make uh, we need less threats, right? That's uh, because first, if the event loop can take care of the operations, like a non only non-blocking operation, it will take care by itself. But if not, then it will using the internal threats. And by doing that, probably you need uh, less resources and the memories, okay? And uh, this is the good part about the Node.js. Probably you will think uh, Node.js will be suitable for all the operation, all the uh, scenarios. It's not um, because we Node.js is good, but it doesn't mean for every application. Where every application is suitable for, we have to consider the scenario. The scenario is here. Uh, from my personal idea, okay. Uh, let me change here. For event loop, it will process also process the user's request when it's non blocking, which means it contains the only JavaScript functions that it will run in the event loop and then return the res response to the client, then event loop will continue taking care of other requests, right? Suppose this JavaScript function takes a very long time. In that case, event loop, it, it's blocking. Got my idea? Event loop is blocking because he, event loop is a single thread. It can only execute one thing at a time. If request two, in this case, it only is a JavaScript function and it uh, takes a very long time for event loop is uh, running here, then it's gonna kind of like a blocking. So for like a computation, which is a consume the memory, okay, not a memory, uh, which is a computing co computation um, based those applications, I feel the multi threads is uh, more makes sense compared with the event loop because uh, multi threads, uh, if this computation, if these threads is broken, it can also using other threads, right? But we only has one event loop to taking care of the user's requests to receiving the user request. But a multi-thread, you can have a different request receiving. If one thread is a keep a compute, compute there, you can have other threads to receiving other requests. Anyway, uh, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.